Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my morning routine. The first place you will find me in the morning is making myself a hot coffee. I am never hungry in the morning, so I like to kickstart my metabolism because if I don't start it now, I'll just never be hungry. With something really easy, I've grabbed a couple bars this morning, but sometimes it's just Sophie's yoga pouches. I'll literally just shove it down. And this is my chance to go over my journal for the day, see what I didn't do for yesterday. Every day is kind of different at this point. I always go over my journal at, at some point in the morning, but I kind of have to reflect on what happened yesterday in the sense of, did I finish the kitchen? Do I need some self-care? Is there a task that I need to get done with the kids being asleep and I should try it in the morning as opposed to just relying that they will both nap? On this particular day, I have some filming I want to do while the girls nap, if they nap. So I'm getting ready now because there's no way I'll be able to get ready and film in their nap at the same time. I have just enough time to check on my perfume before winter wakes up, which means it's feeding time. After we get a good burp out of her, I take her out of her sleep sack and let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a night routine because winter is sleeping so well at the moment. It comes down to routine and that sleep sack, she just knows that it's bedtime when she's in it. She knows when it's playtime when she's out of it, which is exactly what we're doing. And we were gifted these beautiful wipes and nappies. So I will let you guys know in an upcoming video how they went, if I loved them or not. But as with everywhere in the world, we're having a spike in cases at the moment, so I'm just double checking her temperature every morning. She's also got some cradle cap that I'm going to brush through some treatment now and get her changed for the day. Winter genuinely enjoys her alone time and she's teething quite badly, so I'm going to leave her here with her munchmate to watch some TV. Judge down in the comments below if you like to clean up and get some things ready, like her vitamin D drops here. Usually we'd like to do that for the first feed, but that's okay. I'm going to get these apples out, make some apple sauce. I'll have some baby weaning videos coming out for you guys. One being a haul and essentials video next. While I'm making that sauce, I'm going to get Sophie's snack pack ready. This is like a little box I like to have that she can grab any snacks out of during the day. It kind of makes my life a little bit easier and I can control her snack content because, you know, I can forget sometimes how many bickies I've given her. This is setting up for her breakfast. It just makes my life easier. If I happen to be dealing with a screaming baby, I can deal with getting breakfast done a lot easier with Sophie. That I was just entering into <laughs> Sophie's juice is not drugs. It's her multivitamin. That pays for itself alone in the fact that she doesn't get quite as sick. Not nearly as much as she used to. Winter doesn't usually have that extra feed, but I've given her her vitamin D drops now. I've gotten her some apple sauce out, Sophie's dress is out and ready for the day, light out for her to have a shower and I'm going to quickly clean up as much as possible before winter wakes. We had a pretty bad storm tear through last night, some people still have no power, that's why we had clothes just hanging up everywhere. I'm going to get dressed for the day and winter actually makes another appearance, much earlier than she usually would but not mad about it at all. The apple sauce I got out earlier is defrosted and I'm actually giving it to her cold because she likes it better for her teeth. I'm going to get ready because once Sophie wakes up I want to go for a walk, blowing out the candles because God knows I will forget that and getting winter completely ready as in like change her nappy once again, get some energy out, and get her excited for a walk. Sophie was still not awake so I'm using this opportunity to fold as much as I can before she does wake up. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, unless it's raining, we go for a walk every single morning. And on this particular morning, Sophie decided that she wanted to go for the walk before breakfast. So we're gonna get dressed, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Getting out of the house is really more for my mind than my body at this point. I 
we're home now and Sophia's decided for breakfast she wants baby cakes it's so much easier on me because it's just blueberry pancakes I've made from scratch and I keep them frozen in the freezer because mama don't have time to make pancakes every time she asks for baby cakes so she's going to have that in front of the TV but let me know if you guys want to see kind of like what I do to make my life easier as far as the kids and the food prep is concerned I'd love to do a food prep video for you guys a really in-depth one but Sophie's gonna give you a cute little smile right here I'm gonna change winter's nappy once again that girl can feed that girl can we I want to go out for the day I want to go out and do some errands so what I've decided to do is hang out the washing that we popped on earlier clean up quickly chuck a load of a dish like the dishwasher on and we're gonna head out to clean the car. I have no fuel. We got back from the coast yesterday. So I wanna make sure that there's fuel in the car because that gives me way more anxiety than you realize. And clearly I don't do this every single morning. This is a errand time block. I do whatever errands need to be done for the day. And on this particular day, the car also needed a vacuum because sand was all through it. But yeah, every day is a little bit different, but I know that this particular hour is dedicated to whatever errand I need to do because it's when the kids are like the most chill. Anyway, that's my morning routine. I hope you found it inspiring or helpful, but I will see you back here in the next few days. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye.